So, uh, about last week, um, we had news that we were getting a brand new Punisher that was going to take the place of Frank Castle. And basically, a lot of people were kind of throwing out speculations of who would be the new Punisher. Like, who is going to be the new uh, bearer of Frank's mantle? Like, that was the big thing that was going on, was who is the new Punisher? And, yeah, so today, a lot of um, people were throwing out ideas. Like, I personally thought it was either going to be revealed to be Maria, because there was a lot of potential there to, for her story to kind of evolve there, now that she's been resurrected. Um, there was also my thought on Punisher 2099, uh, kind of like do what Miguel, uh, like having Mag uh, like what they did with Miguel O'Hara become going to the present, and I even threw out Deathlock as an idea. But uh, but after much debate, we finally have our Punisher. We finally have our Punisher out in the open. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our Punisher, and ladies and gentlemen, his name is Joe Garrison. Oh, you don't know who Joe Garrison is? He's a totally new character. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yep. Totally new character um, for uh, taking on the mantle of the Punisher. Now, Joe Garrison, we don't know anything about him. In fact, I don't even know the writer. David Propose? I don't know who that is. I thought it was, like, going to be... I thought it was going to be Jason Aaron again taking over for... Um, kind of taking over for uh, taking on his run further. Like, that's what I thought was going to be, was that it was going to focus on Punisher um, basically running around... Like, basically, like, having this Punisher continue of the uh, Jason Aaron run. Like, a, like Jason Aaron was going to continue it with a new ongoing series. But, yeah. So, we have a totally new character taking on the mantle of Punisher. And people are totally fine with this. They are, there is no arguments and no people saying it's woke ideology or something like that. Totally not. Yeah. So, who is John Gar who is Joe Garrison? Who is Gar who is Joe Garrison? Garrison is apparently an ex-shield agent who has been thrown into a back into the spotlight due to his past coming back to haunt him. He is a one of he was apparently one of Shield's best. Something happened and now he's going on a rampage against those who are trying to harm him and his family. So, yeah. So that's our story. Like, that is basically our story in a nutshell, is that we have Punisher, uh, we have a new Punisher, we have a new story arc, and I do like the costume. I will admit that the costume is pretty OP. I will, uh, I will concede that this is a pretty solid, uh, Punisher costume. Um, the, the the thing that threw me off and why I thought it was going to be Deathlock or, or 2099 Punisher was because um, the big thing was those guns were a lot different. They were like these big futuristic guns and they were... They looked like something like you would see in the future or someone a cyborg would have. And yeah, it I will give credit that it is cool to see Marvel bring out another new character rather than have... Um, be it like one character taking over the mantle of another here it real and this isn't the first and yeah i know this isn't temporary that's the thing i think a lot of people are forgetting with uh Gar with this joe garrison guy is that he's not gonna be punisher forever yeah like i have said multiple times to everyone thinking that this is like they've done killed the punisher they've ruined the punisher forever you know there's no going back for him uh, from it like you know i hear that song and dance so many goddamn times it has lost all fucking meaning to me it yeah it is quite literally lost any and all meaning to me as a fan if you know if real pun you know real punisher fans know that frank has been in a lot of weird situations currently also he's not dead he's just off in a place called weird world which is an actual thing from marvel He's just there for a while, and I would not be shocked. And I'd actually be kind of cool if, like, Jason Aaron did a follow-up to the comic called uh, Planet Frank and have it be, like, Punisher on uh, Frank on um, Weird World and fighting his way through all these monsters and whatnot, like a Planet Hulk, but, just he uh, but now it's just Frank, um, and have him come back to Earth. Because we know at some point he's just going to come back. Like, they, they didn't kill him. 
And also, Punisher has been in space, fighting the Brood. He's been a Frankenstein zombie. He's been... Um, he's been changed into a different race. I think twice, now that I think about it. Um, he has... Um, He's done a lot. Like, there has been a lot done with the Punisher that they do... Like like I have said multiple times, they just do this with Frank Castle every so often just to get people talking about comics or, you know, to skirt some con uh, some controversy for a short time. I guarantee you this will go on for about a year. Maybe, uh, like, then the next year, Frank will be back. Like, the fo like next... Like, 2020... Like, the rest of... Because I think this comic comes out in 2023. Basically, this comic... Um, this comic is, um, what was I going to say? This comic is, um, uh, this comic's probably going to, I think it starts out at the end of the year. Sorry, I, I've got a lot on my mind and this isn't one of those things. <laughs> um, but Punisher is pro this new Punisher's, I think, coming out in October, and they're just going to let it run for the rest of the year, then I guarantee you, by the end of the next year, they'll, like, sometimes towards the end of 2024, they'll announce in 2025, Welcome Back Frank, or a miniseries to bring Frank back. Something like that. Again, dudes fought angels, dudes killed the brood in space, nothing is shocking anymore with the Punisher. This is just another thing for com- this is just comics, because- Every, like, like I have said also in other things, not just for Punisher, but for all things, everything just goes back to status quo at some point or another. That's the thing about Mar with Marvel and DC Comics, is that nothing, unless it's DC, then it just, the whole universe gets rebooted and we just do something new all over again. But that's the thing with Marvel, is that, you know, something will be like a big thing, like big title shifting change, and then it'll go back to status quo in a year, year and a half tops. That's how these things work. Like, that's that's really how, like, if you've been reading Marvel comics long enough, you kind of figure out that that's the, the formula. So, rest of 2023, rest of 2024, all of 2024, then end of 2024, we'll get, like, we'll, uh, we'll get, like, a miniseries of, like, like I said, like a Planet Frank story, and then Punisher will be back on Earth. Because that's how this thing goes. Anyway, so you guys tell, uh, 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 but for the right now, we don't know what what the character of Joe Garrison is going to be like, so uh, we'll give him a shot. I just say, my thing is right now, I know Frank is coming back, So, but for right now, I'm just like, eh, give the new guy a shot. Let's see what happens. Like, that's really all I could say is like, eh, give the new guy a shot. <laughs> all right, but you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of the reveal of the new Punisher? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, and how do you think they'll bring Frank back to Earth? Uh, just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.